Yep, we've been loving getting to know our Springbok heroes just a little bit better because it makes the game so much more enriching when we know where our heroes have come from. And right now, we're going to focus on a young man who I think has got a point to prove at this particular Rugby World Cup. I'm talking about Marvin Ori, and I need my young man here to join okay. me for this. Yes, let's um, our boys, brother. Um, we, we are seeing the, the Springbok, so many of these guys, we forget that they're just people that have had a journey <laughs> to get they? to this point. Yeah, well, maybe like sort of people. People, but they live on a different level, but they've all had to start somewhere. And let's take a walk back through Marvin Ori's incredible past. So um, he hails from Belhar in Cape Town, stand up. Yeah. He embodies resilience and triumph. He's proven that throughout his career, his path from youth tournaments to the international stage, overcoming adversity and contributing to the Stormers URC title. I think he is a major leader and a physical presence in that. 100%, team, man. man. This is someone that I don't think has, uh, has gone under the radar, but is definitely someone that we need to celebrate more now. Listen yeah, to this, Marvin Ori's sure. journey began with impressive performances, representing Western Province in multiple youth tournaments, showcasing his talent, and that's from a very young age. After this, he obviously went over to the IOB Junior World Rugby Championships, where he was involved with South Africa's under-20 team in the 2012 IOB Junior World Championship on home soil, which marked a significant milestone in his early career, despite not even making an appearance. Yeah, I think it brought him into the fold, though, and I think mm. these guys, they become such an official part of the structures within, and we need him now. Well, now that's being proved oh, in the yeah. World Cup, how much we do. 7-1. <laughs> <Seven, one. coughs> um, yeah, exactly. Now, he contributed to, to UP Tix victory in the Varsity Cup competition where so many of our young players have put up their hands. Mm. That highlight, highlighted the impact that he had on a university level within rugby. And then, of course, he started his professional oh, debut. Yeah? What a debut. I mean, after recovering from a devastating leg injury, yeah. we thought that this was the end. But no, Audi made his professional debut for the Blue Bulls in 2014, displaying remarkable resilience and utmost determination from there obviously going to the URC champs where Ori's pivotal role in the Stormers victory which I know we can still remember the 2021-22 URC title he started at number 17 he started 17 times sorry in that entire tournament and he truly is a testament to growth and impact in the world of rugby his journey from Balhawk Cape Town to international rugby serves as I think just absolute inspiration for aspiring athletes and for those that aren't even born in the system of rugby. Oh, completely. Showing you how you can make your way, man. Just persevere. Uh, fortitude. Just don't yeah. ever stop. And when everyone, even yourself, is telling you that you've reached the end of the road, pick yourself back up. But I think a lot of other athletes and a lot of other professional sportsmen see a journey like this. And they've been waiting. All of us have been waiting for him to get his, like, real opportunity yeah. here with the box because he's played such a fundamental role. And now he's getting it, which is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Well, very much a part of the Springbok fold, a part of that big pack of forwards, and we love the fact that he brings the physicality every time. Marvin Ori, we love you guys. We salute you, brother. <laughs>